Hopefully you've had a minute to click through the four tabs that are on the left hand side of the screen. We have designed the course to be as straightforward as possible, so hopefully by clicking on those four tabs you now have a better idea of how the course is navigated. This next video will talk about specifically how you should navigate the class, uh, so if you have any questions whatsoever this video should sum it up. So first, there are only four tabs in our class. The first tab is the home tab and that's where all of your coursework is. It is mapped out chronologically in the order that you should complete the coursework. The course has been broken down into a series of six modules. So this is module one that you're seeing right now. It's the getting started, welcome to the class uh, module. It shouldn't take more than maybe two hours if you're incredibly thorough. Um, but the goal of that first module is to make sure that you're aware of what you should be working on. And if you were to scroll down the home tab, you'll see that there's a module two. And for the summer 2017 semester, you'll be working on this module for two weeks, week one and week two. There's a third module, a fourth module, a fifth module, and a sixth module. And everything's mapped out so that you'll complete the items listed in the order listed. And by the time we get to the end of the semester, which happens to be August 5th for this particular semester, um, you will have completed everything in the textbook for the class all the activities that we've assigned and hopefully you now feel that you know Photoshop a little better than you knew it when you started and I kinda say that jokingly because you could take 25 Photoshop classes and you still wouldn't learn everything that Photoshop has to offer and so before you get started in our class make sure that you're reading a little blurb um, that starts the chapter or the sorry the modules because we're not gonna try to become masters of Photoshop in Art 1280 our goal is to have a broad understanding of what Photoshop is and what it's capable of. We're going to show you a hundred thousand things, um, uh, not literally a hundred thousand things, but you're probably going to be exposed to at least a thousand different things that you could do in Photoshop. And we don't expect everyone in the class to memorize every single thing that we do because we're going to throw them at you so fast that you're going to feel overwhelmed at times. But just keep in mind that we just want to show you everything that Photoshop has to offer. And we're hoping that a hundred of those things stick on top of file organization, non-destructive editing, and good practices for Photoshop. Uh, we'll show you how to make 12 different types of selections and 15 different types of file formats. We're not expecting you to memorize every single one but we do want you to come out of the class with a skills-based understanding of Photoshop so that if you really enjoy learning about Photoshop, you could go on to the next level of Photoshop, which may be Photoshop for photographers if you're a photography major, or advanced Photoshop for graphic design majors if you're graphic design, or intermediate Photoshop for multimedia if you're a multimedia major. Um, but keep that in mind as, as we move through the course. The second tab is the announcements tab, and if you click on that, there are a few announcements that I'll pre-program into the course so that you'll get them the first time you sign in. It's important that you read through all of these announcements in their entirety. In addition, anytime that I or your teacher has to communicate with the class as a whole, this is how he or she or I will communicate with the class. And I, Jessica, like to send out at least one weekly announcement every week, 8 o'clock on Monday morning so that you are aware of what you should be working on in that particular week. It will say, hey, we're learning about selections this week, and I would really recommend that on Monday and Tuesday you do this, this, and this. And then once you're done that, you can spend Wednesday and Thursday doing that, that, and that, and it will pace you out so that you are doing the appropriate amount of work um, each week. Instead of feeling like you have too much to do every Saturday, it'll break it out and say, do this little chunk on the first two days, and do this other little chunk on Wednesday and Thursday. And then after you're done that, you can spend Friday and Saturday working on your test or your exam or whatever is required that week. 